at that time because for them it's reality. You got to understand that these people came out of post-war. Their mentality was still yet war out on the streets. It wasn't until when you get into the 1960s or mid 60s and 70s where June Re, you know, came up with the uh, the safety equipment, which is the padded forms and things this way, and things become a little bit lighter. And I think that came because we were having a lot of uh, children getting into the, into the martial arts, so they had to be a little bit more protective. So the training between the old style and used totally different. There was more contact in those old days as, they, as it is today. In today's world also, there are contact sports that get a little bit more heavier than uh, without the pads, uh, maybe slightly pads as you get into MMA, where you know everything is actually full contact. The last one standing or the one that's standing is the ultimate winner. The old days too, you know, in places like we used to have in, in Hawaii, in the middle of the sugarcane fields, or later on it was the civic auditorium where they would have almost sort of like death matches, especially when it came to the Filipino fighter night of Escrima, Carleo, Arnez. They used to have these kind of competitions. But yeah, we did have the kind of competitions where it was a little bit more violent. When you 